All right, week two college football breakdown, a rematch of one of the week two games we saw last year uh, in Knoxville. Now we bring it up north to Pittsburgh. We got Tennessee traveling to Pitt. Uh, man, the Vols, six and a half point road favorites. Uh, seems a little high to me uh, and a total at 66 and a half. Um, first thought in this game is that, you know, six and a half for, for Tennessee to be laying six and a half on the road uh, when they might have the disadvantage in the trenches does seem kind of alarming. Um, with that said, there's one key thing that you need to know about this game, and we might not get an answer about this till kickoff. Pitt might have one of the best pass rushers in the country, and Deslin Alexander, uh, he got hurt against West Virginia, and he's questionable for this game. Pat Narduzzi is a guy that keeps his injury uh, updates really close to the vest, so we don't really know if he's going to play. I, I think that's a guy on the defensive end that makes a huge impact uh, on how I look at this game because – Tennessee was a team last year that struggled to protect Hooker, even though he's a really mobile guy. Uh, Tennessee's offensive line was a, a pretty big concern last year, and they were vulnerable. I'm going to need to know if Deslin Alexander plays in this one before I have a great feel on this. Um, obviously, Tennessee's offense is extremely efficient. Hendon Hooker, I actually played on him 60-1 uh, to 1 to win the Heisman Trophy. Uh, they got a good run game. I, I don't think people realize how good Hendon Hooker was last year. I mean, nearly 70% completion, 10 yards per attempt. Nine to one touchdown to interception ratio. I mean, and, and listen, he didn't even start the year as the quarterback. So with the full offseason under his belt, he, I mean, he's set for a breakout year. Uh, like I said, though, the, the main concern I have for Tennessee's offense uh, is that offensive line. Um, on the other side of things, we actually saw Pitt play pretty well offensively a week ago. Uh, Keaton Slovis is a guy that I'm not particularly high on. Uh, but if last week was any indication playing against West Virginia in that Thursday night game, He's not going to be asked to, to really sling the ball around like he was at USC. It's going to be a much more of a pro style run first kind of system, uh, kind of the old school Pat Narduzzi way. He, but he was really efficient last week, over 12 yards per attempt against West Virginia. I guess what I'm interested to see is West Virginia is very leaky in their secondary. I think we knew that coming into the game. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how that translates against Tennessee. I, I don't think Pittsburgh's run game is great. Uh, I, Pat Narduzzi is insistent on, you know, starting to run the ball more. The one thing I'll say about Pitt's offensive line, all five offensive line starters returned from last year, but they are pretty susceptible in pass block. I mean, they allowed five sacks a week ago against West Virginia. Tennessee is a team that I coming into the year, I expected them to get after the quarterback at a pretty high rate. Uh, didn't show that against Ball State, but I'm not going to really put too much stock into that. I'm going to trust what I thought preseason. I think a lot of people are expecting that Tennessee back seven uh, to improve this year defensively. It's just one of those things. I'm going to need to see it before I believe it. You know, I actually think there could be a little bit of value on Pittsburgh here if their defensive front is at full strength. I've actually already released my best bets here for week two. Uh, got those out today, this morning, uh, here on Wednesday. I'm looking to have the rest of my card out by Thursday. The main place you can follow me uh, is on Twitter, at Fordham Betting. Uh, I'll also leave all of my own other information in the description below. One more thing, too. Head over to Proud90.com. They got all your golf apparel needs. You see this shirt right here. I know you've been staring at it the whole time. Head over to Proud90.com. Code Fordham at checkout. It's going to get you 15% off your order. All the other information will be in the description. Appreciate y'all watching the video. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm going to kind of let this one play out. See see what kind of information we get closer to kickoff. Uh, should be a really good game, but I, I, I do think that one piece in Pittsburgh defensive end, Deslin Alexander, can make a pretty big difference into how I view this game. So I'm going to wait and see here.